explosion. Printer's Devil to Bookworm Headquarters. Devil to Bookworm. Devil to Bookworm. I read you, Printer's Devil. Plot A, washout. He got rid of the bomb with a tricky ejector. What about plot B? I don't know, Bookworm. It's still up in the air. It? Ah, here it comes now. What condition is it in? Is my plot B legible? Perfectly. And here come the bat-eared boobs, too. Return to headquarters. I read you. Over and out. What is our super crime, boss? Silence! Back to your books. You'll be told in good time. Oh, you're some clever worm, bookworm. Hmm. Oh. oh, it's books, my sweet Lydia. Books, books. That's the secret of my success. Books. Oh, oh I read them all. I inherit the wisdom of the ages. Every plot ever devised is here inside my head. Oh, bookworm, with a mind like yours, I wonder why you don't write your own bestseller. Shut up! Oh, don't you dare say that to me. But bookworm, I... No, you, 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 you're taunting me, aren't you? No, bookworm. Yes, yes, you are, you're taunting, mocking me. And why? Why? Because I have no originality. And why? Why? Because I'm only the master of stolen plots. Well, this... This will teach you a lesson! <gasps> His fantastic mind. He will read that entire book in a matter of seconds. Now, <clears throat> what was I saying before I was interrupted? Dear me, what feeble memories you have. <laughs> However, shades of Shakespeare. Night has fallen. <laughs> it is time for us to put a little twist into our plot. Follow me! A thousand decibels, here we go. That's flushed about. Six of them, two of us. Odds in our favor. Hero G was out of the attack. Page 14, chapter 6, paragraph 2. Into action! Your glasses! Remember, never hit a man with glasses. Eight, three, nine, six, retreat! The bookworm, urgent. Do you read me? Am I legible? Repeat, am I legible? <clears throat> I read you. Warning, that man knows it's a trap. Uh, how could he? I don't know, but get this. The boy Wonder knows my name. He's been calling me Miss Limpet. Must have tumbled somehow. Uh, do you still have Boy Wonder? Oh, yes. He got a whiff of your sleepy by book English history. Stay right there. I'll be right over to pick you up. 
over to Gotham City in memory of Bruce Wayne's father. Time. Time. Which delivers us all to the worms in the end. Uh, clear the team. Huh? What time is it? Oh, one minute to midnight, Bookworm. Uh, Sixty tiny seconds. Oh, farewell, boy wonder. Adieu, Robin. Oh, this is the last time that you will meddle in affairs of moment. Oh, I try to warn you. <laughs> Do not ask. For whom this spell tolls, it tolls for thee. Funny. All I hear is a nightingale. Conceivable but true, the precocious pest has escaped us. But how could he, Bookworm? How, how could, could he? he? How could... I cannot conceive. But from Gil Blas, translated by Tobias Smollett, Book 10, Chapter 3, quote, facts are stubborn things, unquote. <laughs> now, the fact is that our bats have flown the belfry unaccountably still squeaking. Gee, and us with our super crime not pulled yet. Hmm. Ah! Ah. <sighs> do not fret, my sweet Lydia. Oh, do not fret. <gasps> my brain-drenched mind has done it again. Oh, a most delicious bat trap. <laughs> <laughs> This way, sir. How do you do? What do you recommend this week? Something for reading before going to sleep? Ah, oh, well, I believe that you will find this volume extremely effective, Mrs. Cooper. Oh. Congressional record, March 1919. Oh, it's the illustrations, Mrs. Cooper. They are so piquant. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Look, Alfred. <laughs> oh, poor puny little bat brains. I bet they think they opened that book. Of course they'll go in. In the words of the poet, curiosity killed the bat. <laughs> the Morgan Belt Library unparalleled repository of literary treasures. In an alley at the rear, there are little foxes in the vines. Directly ahead, through that wall, the air-conditioned vault containing treasures beyond imagination. Oh, some haul, all right. Seven Gutenberg Bibles, 11 first folios by William Shakespeare. Some wall, too. Three feet of cement over 18 inches of steel. To the bat beam! But what if something goes wrong, Bookworm? Oh, it won't, it won't, it won't. Best laid plans of mice and men. I don't know where it's from, but I know it's true. Schemes, 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 the best laid scheme. Robert Burns to a mouse stanza seven. Schemes. But you are graded C minus. Now, for the bat beam. Oh, melted. Fantastic. My fine twisty worms, follow me. Huh? Glasses off. All right, my fine twisty worms. All right, you crooks. And remember, be polite to Mr. Bruce Wayne, too. The world's hundred greatest crimes. 
you abandoned child. Is there no hope for you? As you can see, Bruce, your gift was sorely needed. May I keep that as a souvenir, Commissioner? Oh, yes, certainly. Thank you. What are you smiling at, Bookworm? Oh, I am so much cleverer than all of you, you see. <laughs> oh, as the poet says, they who lose today may win tomorrow. Wrong, Bookworm. Not the poet. That line's from Cervantes, Don Quixote. Part one, book one, chapter seven. Puh, the devil. Why, this fellow, he is almost as obnoxious as Batman. All right, out, out, out. <laughs> 